Hey there, how you doing? I just wanted to uh, give you a update on the Emerson Super Kramit. All right. Well, it's a fake. All right. It's a uh, Chinese copy, most likely. Um, a pretty good copy, I might say. Uh, it looks like a real Emerson, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, it's a uh, fake. Well, one thing uh, I found is that I uh, went to Emerson's website and match and tried to match the specs you know, on his knife to the seller's specs on eBay and uh, they didn't match. You know, his was kind of, was a little off, you know, from Emerson. So that's one indication. Um, one other indication, right, that I had uh, found out from watching videos and doing my own research well it says horseman right here all right um i'm not sure maybe emerson makes a, a horseman or makes a karambit that says horseman but uh i know for a fact on my emerson combat karambit um, it didn't say horseman here, right? I think it said, uh, Crambit or something else, but, uh, I'm sure it didn't say, uh, horseman, so. Um, I know that these are two different size Crambits. Let's say for the sake of argument, uh, argument, that this is a Emerson, all right? Let's say this, all right? But when we uh, match match them up here, all right? You see a little little oval here. See how how wide that is, and see how not wide that is, all right? That's really more of the uh, circle, ah, circle, all right? Uh, it's not really an oval, so I do know on the actual Emerson Super Carambas, this is more of the oval shape, all right? So that's one indication, all right? And a, another one that I found was that this knife was supposed to be, or is, a chisel grind, okay, like, like the combat here, okay, um, well, you, you see on the combat, right, that it is a chisel grind, okay, it, there's no edge on the other side whatsoever, it's flat, okay, on the super, Right, you see it on that side. When you turn over, you see like a secondary edge here, right? And it doesn't really feel flat, right? There's a curve to it, and so that's that's another indication. But you know, I'm I'm sure there's a few more. Alright, but I'm just going to point out three. Right. But in my opinion, alright, and this is just me, this is a, is a really good fake. Alright, it's real good. Um, they have me fooled for a little bit. Alright, well here's, here's one last thing. Um, you know, we, we, we all know that you're not going to buy a Emerson, whether it be 
the Crambit or some of his other folding knives. I think he makes a few fist blades too as well. You're not going to get one for $27. All right? It's it's impossible. Um, so that's another thing, the price. So. But yeah, that that's one good thing uh, about this. Um, it's a real good quality fake. He did a real good job. Um, one thing that I did find out that that's really cool about this knife, alright, and the feature is not in the Emerson uh, Combat Karambit or any Emerson knife. Well, maybe, but I doubt it. Um, okay, with this, I was wondering what that clicking sound was right I, I couldn't put my finger on it I was like man is the is the knife defective or, or something what the hell is that well I found out from a uh, real good friend that that noise right there is a magnet okay and it keeps the blade closed right um, I took the uh, pocket clip of this knife because a uh, screw fell out. You know, I was like, well, you know, I'll just put it in a uh, belt pouch. And the Emerson, oh, man, or the wave feature still works, right, from a uh, belt pouch. And so, so there's no problem there. Uh, but yeah. That that clicking sound is a magnet, right? Okay? And that is pretty cool. Now, I seriously doubt, you know, unless I take the knife apart, which I'm not going to do. Um, I think the locking mechanism here has been magnetized somehow, and that is pretty cool okay like I mentioned before it keeps the knife right closed and if you have the pocket clip on here and this is in your pocket right like say you know you have it on this side right and you have it in your pocket now you 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 say say you have to retrieve your your keys or or a lighter or something like that and you stick your hand in there to get that this knife will not open do that and your hand goes boom right and that's happened to me before with one of my cold steels okay uh had in my pocket and uh I had to get something out and the knife was in there and uh, the blade did that and my hand met the, the tip of the blade and I was like, ow, you know, what the hell is that? And come to find out, uh, my knife was partially opened. So, I think that's pretty cool. That's a real good job. Wow, I, th I would have never guessed, you know, I thought the knife was damage you know on the inside it needed washers or something but no it's fine let's see here the emerson combat cramp it doesn't do that okay quiet so but yeah hmm. you can tell that's been magnetized. See this? I don't know if you guys can see that. But. Uh, did I get ripped off? No. Um, I'm going to say no. I didn't get ripped off. And I'll tell you why. Well, I lost one of these before. Right. 
and uh, I paid uh, 150 for it at a uh, gun and knife show and uh, I tell you it was a major blow to the gut right so I would rather much have this fake you know in my pocket and lose this than I would the actual real Emerson you know it's just it's just too big of a hit you know so but uh, yeah all right well I am impressed so I'll definitely uh, hold on to this and carry it every day or almost every day I've got quite a few knives so but uh, all right you two well you have a good morning